Water is a precious natural resource. This is the story of the journey water takes to reach us every day and the part Aberton Reservoir plays in bringing it to us. When we turn the tap on to pour a glass of water in the morning, the water we drink has travelled far to reach us and gone through many stages. These stages together form the water cycle. It starts with water in rivers, lakes and the sea that is evaporated by the heat of the sun. Excess water from plants is also absorbed into the atmosphere. The water collects in the skies to form clouds. When the clouds get cold, they become liquid again. The water then falls from the sky as rain, snow, sleet or hail. The water is collected into lakes, rivers and oceans. From here it evaporates again and continues the cycle. The water we use every day has gone through this process millions of times. Aberton Reservoir acts as a way of storing and sharing the water to make sure there is always enough. Aberton Reservoir provides water for 1.5 million customers. It provides water for people from the southeast of England in the towns and in the countryside. The enlarged reservoir now holds an extra 15 billion litres of water. That's a lot of extra water. An Olympic swimming pool holds about 2.5 million litres. So now, after the development, Aberton Reservoir holds an extra 6 thousand swimming pools. The reservoir serves Chelmsford, London boroughs of Barking and Dagenham, Havering and Redbridge. Aberton Reservoir is one of Europe's most important wetlands, providing large habitats to support many birds and other animals, especially in the winter months. They live happily in the environment and it creates a place where they can feed, nest and shelter. Birds that live here include the coot, gadwell, golden eye, teal and widgeon, as well as the shy bittern in winter months. Other animals that live in the surrounding areas include waterfowl, otters, kingfishers, harvest mice, butterflies and dragonflies. The Aberton scheme has been a huge construction project and the reservoir can now tell 58% more water. This will help to ensure the reservoir is more resilient to climate change and has enough capacity to provide for the population of Essex for many years. As part of the development, 28,200 additional plants and 59,000 more trees have been planted to add to the rich natural environment. 12 kilometres of new public access routes have been created. It will provide a beautiful place for people to walk, cycle, ride horses and birdwatch. Before the water from the reservoir is ready to come into our homes, it has to go through a cleaning process. Firstly, the water is abstracted from the reservoir. This is where the water is pumped to the treatment works and big leaves and dirt are removed from the water. The next stage in the process is called clarification. By adding a special chemical, dirt and bacteria can be attracted from the water. It works like a magnet, pulling the particles downwards in the water so it can be removed. The water next goes through a process called filtration. It is filtered through sand and the remaining small particles are removed. A small and safe amount of chlorine is now added to the water. Once this is done, the water is ready to drink. Here are some examples of many uses of water. I use water to bath in. I use water to drink. I use water to jump in puddles. I use water to make a cup of tea. I use water to swim in. I use water to wash my dog. Water is important in all our lives. 
We use water every day in many ways. The Aberton scheme will bring water into our homes and businesses for generations.